Alright. Alright, alright. What is up to everybody at home? This is Spooky. And right now we are getting started with uh, day number two of the Mad Cats Cup. Ap apologies for the delay in starting, but we are going to be underway shortly. Uh, we have two great events for you guys. We have an invitational eight-man single limb tournament that will be starting at about 7 p.m. Pacific time, give or take. And uh, after that, we have a 64-man uh, single elim excuse me, 64-man double elimination bracket. It's open to the public. I can tell you for a fact, those 64 people have already been filled. So uh, we are going to have a full bracket today. What's up, everyone? Welcome to day two Ooh. of Mad Cat's V Cup featuring Street Fighter Five. I'm here with my friend, Mr. Flo. Hello, Mark. Hey, man. Hello. I saw you and Mike playing a grueling set earlier. We played a bit. Yeah. Here and there. You put him in his place, I, I heard. I mean, you know, it's only casuals. It's only casuals. It's only Wait, casuals. are you talking about Mike or the game, the, the matchups? Ooh. Are you calling? Are you calling Mike a casual player? Well, I mean, he's trying to get back into the competitive fold. I right? read on event hubs. I read this on is his yeah. tournament return. This is his comeback. This is his. Yeah. Yeah. Do you know how happy I'll be if he gets fourth somehow? Somehow. That would be actually pretty entertaining. That would be magical. It could be. Or should it be fifth? Since we're starting a new era, should he start game fifth? Well, a single limb. There yeah. will be a fifth. Well, true. is there? Yeah. No. Well, it depends know. if we have a playoff for it. Yeah, it's true. I don't we know. might we'll have figure to if it it's out. Mike. If it's Mike, we might have to. Yeah, just to, you know, put the exclamation mark on the uh, a new era of Street yes. Fighter action. So if you guys are tuning in right now, uh, we're live from Folsom Street Boundary here in San Francisco, California. Come down if yeah. you have not. There's a down. ton of people here. Uh, unfortunately, the, the Turning of the Butter section, the, the tournament itself, is, is capped at 64, and it's already full. But, so I mean, you want to see this. You, you, you want to see this in person. If you're around the area, get over here. You want to see and smell yeah. the salt. Yeah. Well, I don't know about smell at all, but, <laughs> you know, definitely want to see it. So, last-minute training session going on the screen right now. You guys are watching. You have Z and Mike Ross playing. So, Z, you know, trying to get a better feel of the overall game. He hasn't been practicing like a lot of other players have. Right. And uh, after that embarrassing whooping that he took yesterday from Snake Eyes, he's looking to trying to fix something about up. his game, you know? You know, we should talk talk about the matchups in the exhibition that we have coming up. We should. Um, and that tournament, again, will be happening probably about another half an hour. We're going to start it. It's going to be single elimination. Okay. And one winner, the, the, the champion from this, will go away with an entire set of Mad Cat Street Fighter Five products. And so every single product set. that we make, you will get one. Wow, that's that's a big prize. We either I don't know if one person can use all that or if it's for it. They'll you find and a your way. friends and family. So you, you have a chance, Flo. Um, I mean... I don't love my first round match, but you know we'll we'll talk about it. We'll, we'll talk. We'll about talk it. about it. But I think you kind of asked for that. I think you wanted it. I mean, maybe, maybe a little bit, maybe a little bit. So we're gonna start off the the ex invitational tournament with uh, Gutex versus Z. That should be a good one. It should be a good match. And uh, to finish up that side of the bracket, we have Mike Ross versus Tokido. Ooh, the rematch from last night. Yeah, and that was a that was a nice set. It was that close. They had. It was close for sure. 
Uh, it's okay, though. I'm sure wants revenge. Yeah, I'm so sure he we'll does. See how that goes. And uh, rounding off uh, the bottom part of the bracket, we have Snake Eyes Ooh, versus okay. Justin Wong. Oh, that's a good one. And I feel like there's only two people left. Yes. Who's left in the tournament? Would it be me versus Combo Fan? It would be the savior of last night's uh, team match, Combo Oh, no. Oh, no. Versus the guy, Flo. Can I pull the upset? I don't know. It's kind of rough. Uh, it, hey, man, anything can happen. It's a new game. We will see. And, we will. Um, it's not new to him. Yeah, it's not new to him. <laughs> it's not new to him. He's on Ultra Street Fighter 5 I know. already. <laughs> Oh, man, he's practicing his Alex combos right now, you know? Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, man, we'll see what happens, though. We'll see what happens. Um, you guys can the see combo fiend will probably get Chun or Vega, I would say. Oh, yeah. wow. You, you said it to him like you were going to give it to him. I mean, he's I'm not get saying Chun all that. Or Vega. I'm not saying all that, Mark. We'll see what happens. Well, hopefully. I'll do my best. I believe that. I will do my best. So right now it looks like Z uh, trying to get a better hold of Zangief. He's going to be using Zangief in the tournament. Yesterday he used Dalsam first, then he went to Zangief. Right. I think he's more partial to Eve. Yes. Oh, and just like that, the jab SPD range. Oh, he's definitely he's definitely doing better than before. Yeah. It looks like he, he's learning. He is learning. You go learn today. Uh -oh. Z is not just a comic book. No, he's not. Actually, he's a lot of people probably don't know that he's actually very, aside from being very knowledgeable, yeah. I think he's probably one of the, the best commentary players out there. Probably. Probably. He, um, I remember there was a Kuwait tournament in the OCV Team Kuwait, I believe. That's right. Yeah. With that Zang Heath. Yep. Best Geef? Best Geef? Ooh, I don't know. There, there might be a, <laughs> a Snake Eyes. That best Geef no one knew about. I know, right? Best Hidden Geef. We'll talk about that. We'll give him that. Round two. But yeah. Again, if you guys are tuning in, we're going to have an eight-man invitational tournament. That's going to be happening in about half an hour. After that, it's going to transition straight into turning the butter. 64-man Street Fighter V action. Will we see the secret top players? Why is NorCal the, the best region? The secret final bosses? I'm very curious to see. It feels like these guys have been playing for months. <laughs> I know. How, how would that be possible? Well, I, I hope they all come out the woodworks. So I hope they come out to show uh, why they are the best. I'm very curious myself. Hey man, the you're replay, right? That was one of the greatest montages I've ever seen in my life. Yeah, the Tenno team coming out with that tech. The, so it was like uh, the, the reaction like montage. It was every face that Mike can make in disappointment. Round one. Yeah. I hope we get some more of that Fight. today. Maybe we will. Who knows? It depends if whether or not he can. Actually, you know what? I was just looking at the bracket right now. So if Mike and Gutex both win their first round match. Oh, man. We are, are we going to have a cross counter battle? Cross counter battle, the mega power of It was like when Macho Man and Randy Savage fought each other. Macho Man and Randy Savage. Oh, I'm sorry. Macho Man they and They both Hulk fought Hogan. each other. <laughs> I'm sorry. He split from himself see, for the it, battle royale. Yeah, see, that's how crazy it is. He snapped into him slow. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, man. Z, Z trying to learn, but I actually feel like this is kind of a hard match for Geef. Me and Mike played this match a little bit. I played Geef, and uh, yeah, it's kind of hard. I think actually, I think Ryu in this game is so good just because He's of uh, very his, his ability to break crap. He has a lot of, his stand strong is very good. His fireballs are good. People yep. underestimate fireballs in this game. I don't think they're that bad. Not just that, his V trigger, once he does uh, have it, it makes it much more of a threat. Oh yeah, for sure. Yeah, got but, those unblockables. Yep. Scary fireworks, for sure. That he could deal out the damage with the combos as well. Yeah, yeah. His crush counter game is really good, too. His super or, is extremely good, too. Three frames. So what uh, what Combo Fiend did to Justin the other day. Oh, yeah. That was, did, did you hear about this? I, no, I saw it. One Justin of, went out for, like, he went for a crouching medium kick. He, yeah, crouching medium kick. And Combo Fiend was just outside the range of it. He does activate super on the whip. And Beat Combo Fiend just gets super. up. He just gets up and walk away. Yeah, and he knew. He just he saw the leg sticking out. It was too and, sick. And that, that that flash just enabled it. It was over. Oh wow, Mike. And so he this said, is what happens when Mike mashes. Why would you super? You have another round to go. Maybe maybe he's just making sure he can Oh no, Z. He's learning the game. I know. You gotta save it. Save it, Z. Save it for nationals. Oh, he's stuck in the ground. I never saw that. Yeah, it's pretty. You know, funny. if they die, they get stuck in the ground. I never saw yeah, that. Man, someone's gonna have to pay for that floor bill. I know, right? Oh, nice. Gets the crush counter. And one of the great things about all Ooh, the crouching, Z. crouching uh, heavy kicks, doing crush counter properties, it builds up that V, uh, the V gauge. You know, I just realized I'm really disappointed about. What? I think Mike's playing Geef now. Oh. Oh no. <laughs> okay, I'm so sad. This makes a lot more sense. Yeah. Because Mike actually knows how to play Geef, kind of. 
Oh, he thinks he doesn't? You, you, you uh, doubting my boy? I'm not doubting him. I'm just saying he may not be as experienced as a Mike Ross. Uh -huh. All right. You know. As well versed. Because, you know, Mike Ross is NorCal now, and I heard some things about NorCal.